In the name of the Research Support Service Team in Medicine and Science, I have the pleasure to introduce Julia Wermelinger from the Open Science Team for the Coffee Lecture today. Thank you very much for having us today. And welcome everybody to this talk. At first, I'm going to talk about the Open Access Finder a tool that helps you answer the question of how to find available funding sources for your article. This is a complex question, and our team at the library is getting a lot of inquiries concerning funding options. So we hope the Open Access Finder makes it easier for you to check your options. Then I will talk about Bison. Bison is a recommender service that can help you find suitable open access journals for your articles. But before we delve into those two new tools, I want to quickly recapitulate the different pathways of open access. I will be referring to these different routes throughout this coffee lecture, and I want to make sure that we are all on the same page here. To publish costs money. Open access is no different. But the question is, who pays for it? The costs were traditionally covered by the readers and or libraries through a subscription fee. But with open access, there are no more costs for readers and the need for other revenues for publishers. We differentiate four pathways of open access, as shown here. Green the green road means to self-archive your article that was published in a subscription-based journal and make it publicly available after a certain period of time. The green road doesn't cost you money, but it costs you time. To publish in a subscription-based journal, but pay for the article to be open access, as you see in here with the green arrows, that's what we call hybrid, because there are some open access journals in an otherwise subscription-based journal. There are no costs for the readers, but there can be costs for the authors. The other two pathways are called gold and diamond. This means to publish in a fully open access journal. There are, again, no costs for the readers, but costs for the authors. With the gold route, there are APCs to be paid, article processing charges. When taking the diamond route, there are neither costs for readers nor for authors, because the journals fund their expenses, for example, by community funding. Just keep in mind here that gold and hybrid cost fees. Now. Who is going to pay for those costs? Very broadly speaking here, because there are certain exceptions. For gold, there is a separate fund within the SNSF if your research project is funded by the SNSF. If you are not funded, there is an open access fund at the university in place. It has a yearly budget and some criteria, like only corresponding authors, can apply or that the maximum APCs can be no higher than 2,500 francs. If you choose to publish open access in an otherwise subscription-based journal, as we call it hybrid, you have to check whether there is a library agreement in place. They are called read and publish or transformative agreements, and they are negotiated by the consortia of Swiss universities. Unfortunately, there is a risk of a no-deal scenario or certain quotas are in place that become an issue at the end of the year. So in this case, it will be your institute or even yourself that is left with the bill. We want to prevent this from happening and ask you to please check in advance what your funding options are. Speaking of checking in advance, Let's take a look at the Open Access Finder. It is a tool developed and hosted by the University Library of Bielefeld, and it is part of the Open Access Network. It lists over 55,000 journals, their terms, for example, if they have an open access option or conditions like embargo periods. 
Furthermore, we imported the data of our fund and the transformative agreements that the University of Bern currently offers. You will find links to all different funding resources and further helpful information. I invite you to go check it out in the second half of this coffee lecture. You can enter the new tool via our website or go directly to the Open Access Finder. If you go there directly, please make sure to choose the right organization that you're affiliated with whether it is the university or the Inselspital or others. Now, what does the Open Access Finder show you? There are three possible cases here that you will come across when checking your journal. First one is an example for an Open Access Gold Journal. So there's an indication in gold that the publication fund will possibly cover your costs. By clicking on the indication, you will get to the website where you find further information and the application form. Next one is an example of a transformative agreement. It shows you, again, via the indication, this time in blue, saying transformative agreement in place. By clicking on the journal title, you will get more information and you will find another link to our websites where you can check if you're eligible and what the next steps are. The last case is a trickier one, because as you can see, there is no indication about funding sources. This could have two possible reasons. First one, the open access finder lacks information. In this case, we ask you to go check on the website to see if it's just lacking information or Get in touch with us and we'll figure it out. The more likely and unfortunately worst case is that there is no funding available. Like in this example, where there's no agreement with the Greuter, the publisher, in place. So in any case, we would strongly recommend you check journals even before submitting your manuscript to make sure your costs are covered. Okay, maybe you are already beyond the process of choosing all kinds of pathways and you have decided to publish all your research in fully open access journals. That is wonderful to hear, I'm not unbiased, but it brings its own challenges. Like, where can you find suitable open access journals that fit the quality standards of research? Especially, where to find journals if you are working in a rather new field of research or if you engage in multidisciplinary research. There are many, many recommenders and suggesters out there, but as you can see in the screenshot, they're mostly products by big publishers. So there is not only a lack of independent recommenders, but especially ones that present you open access journals. So that's what our next new tool, Bison, is all about. Based on the title, abstract, and or references of your manuscript that you put into the Bison tool on our website, it recommends you pure open access journals that withstand quality control. The thematic relevance is key to the algorithm that works in the background. The tool is developed and hosted by the Leibniz Information Center of Science and Technology Library and the University Library of Dresden. That means the software is and will stay open source and free of charge. So after inserting your title and abstract here, you hit the search for journal button. And as a result to your query, you get a list of journal titles, their publishers, and most importantly, a score of how well your title, abstract, and or references fit the theme of the journal. This is the list integrated in our search box at our website. If you follow the link directly to the Bison website, you'll get even more information about how the score came to be. You also find information about the publishers, their terms, their licenses, and so on. Important to know is that Bison does not store or process your data. There is no need to log in and to share any personal data. 
your query will not be saved. That's it from my side. And uh, please get in touch with us if you have questions, if you find, for example, a bug in the system. We are always happy to hear from you. Thank you very much.